Fairfields in Milton Keynes. Now rumour has it that there's been a new pump track open, not built by professional pump track builders. So we've been sent by the general public to check it out. And you can see we're in full safety attire today because we don't like unsafe tracks. No, I think uh, standing in as the uh, British uh, pump track inspectorate, inspectorate, yeah, bureau. Bureau lovely. makes us sound professional. I'm sure there's some lovely acronyms for that. I'm sure you can let us know. Hopefully we haven't messed up. Yeah, comment below if you can think of a British pump track, something that sounds funny. Mm. Nice one. So starting at the start, this is off the, the start mound, I'm going to call it. Yeah, it's big tarmac area. We're fans of big tarmac areas though, yeah. to be fair, because we can do a lot of fly out tricks, you know, flatland, flat. rolling in we get to uh basically two massive rollers now this looks like a double from like say burnham or somewhere like that in the early 2000s this is a proper mid-school big race double it's unpumpable so you'd have to hit it and jump it how many raccoons you say in length uh raccoons in length I reckon about 16, maybe 17 raccoons. Wow. But that's only if they're fully stretched out. That's a lot of raccoon. Obviously, the actual mounds themselves, you can't really call them rollers because you can't really roll them. They're just gigantic mounds. They are the size of a full-sized sleeping, well, elephant, really. Mm. I mean, they're massive. They're yeah. massive. These should be in Whipsonade Zoo, I'm telling you. Yeah, I'm going to call it an elephant hernia. Yeah, an elephant hernia, yeah. Right, into... These switchbacks, which are on the face of it, you think, yeah, these look really great. But then when we look down, look at, look at, look at this. Flat. And we're back. Oh, oh, sorry, Pete, I was having a doze in the sun. Right, this is the perfect transition for sleeping on, not necessarily the perfect transition for riding on. As I was saying before the camera exploded, flat, Banks. We're fans of flat banks, but not flat bank berms. No. Not the right shape. They're... Now, if you follow me round this berm, there looks like there might be a nice little uh, way hey, transfer. Are you going to give that a go? Absolutely. Possibly. What, what you want with these berms is one to flow into the other, especially if you need a bit of speed for maybe a jump. But luckily, there's no jumps here. <laughs> Couple more big mounds of... Um, Rhino size, these ones a bit smaller than an elephant, more of a rhinoceros size, yeah, or hippopotami. And then we're into something really spectacular, Miles. What we've got here, we've got a lumpy, odd shaped banked turn. I won't call it a burn, that would give it too much uh, justice. Right. So it's, it's slightly uneven, it's yeah. not a, a regular shape, it sort of changes from I don't know 20p to 50p to circular. As you exit the corner, it goes straight into what we've described as a uh, tarmac spine. Look at this. Now, I reckon maybe one Hang on. Yeah. Let me get a bit of view of that so we can actually appreciate what's going on. There we go. Look oh. at that. That's yeah, quite incredible. I we can get a nice uh, 180 bolt maybe over it. Street That's... manoeuvring, definitely not berming. I'll tell you what you remind me of in that position. What? Cher's music video where she was sat on the gun. <laughs> <laughs> Someone get the man a big gun. Oh, what can we use these berms for then? That's lovely. Oh yes, over the spine. Look at that, he's doing manual stalls. Got Miles turning the place into a mini ramp session here. Oh! Moving swiftly on past the second berm debacle. We have these. Gigantic. The width for this straight as well, that's got to be at least, I don't know. Well, this is national track width. Yeah. It's like you could fit a normal pump track this is, I'd say it's wider than uh, that, the Harrow part, which is really wide, no? Yeah, no, no, this is wider than Harrow's outside loop. Yeah. But what a waste. There's no, like, transfer possibilities. There's nothing. You're going to have to... I don't even think we're going to be able to pump through these because it's running uphill. 
With the wind? With the wind. Or against the wind, yeah, sorry. Yeah, against the wind, which the prevailing wind goes that way. Yeah. So yeah, it's a double wide straight. You can see how wide it is now. You see miles on it. Yeah, nice. Oh, look at this. We can ride anything. <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't show just how hard this is to ride, not being able to pump anything. So getting towards the end of this middle straight double wide section, we're approaching another strange feature. There is a vast expanse here as well. An absolute vast expanse. But look at the amount of, tarmac of flat waste. tarmac. Beautiful. Into another bizarre shape. This is not even, it's not a spine so much this one, it's more like a sleeping platypus's face. Yeah, if you turn a, plat a giant platypus giant on its platypus, side, yeah. a giant platypus, this would look like the bill of a platypus, Yeah. slightly tapered, but not actually properly tapered because there's still like that nice 45 degree good dump. You could definitely set your set scroll now, it's bang on, bang on the money for a uh, yeah. for a 45. 45, yeah. I'd tell you it would be really exciting if that somehow they could engineer some hinges and flaps to make this open and somehow <laughs> catch some of the riders inside it. <laughs> Here he goes with the manuals. Hard oh, check it, hard out the lot down into the berm. So, Pete, have you got a, uh, a harding, a uh, fakey thing on the flat bank? Yeah, dedicated to a man like Dan Harding. Take it away, Pete. Right, uh, obviously Harding wouldn't pedal at all, but we've had to pedal a lot here. Here we go. Oh, yes, Pete, what you got? Keep it going, keep it going. Oh. With a bit of shade on here, you can actually see the tarmac is already sort of breaking up a bit, and it's really rough here. Really rough, but you know, I don't know get people that can build it like on a slope with a transition and then that's just a flat bit of tarmac that's not gone that well already but yeah so the other side straight coming down here we've got again massive massive roller but really peaky oh Mo, where are you this, this labyrinth of, of nothingness <laughs> yeah. i'm gonna call these they're not even corners i'm gonna you can actually go dead straight let's have a look hang on a second so as the crow flies, you can go dead straight through the, whatever they are, opposite berm to, to berm. Yeah, this is reminiscent of a uh, tring pedal track, the way the berms aren't in the right place. Yeah, so completely unusable. Yeah, all on Milton Keynes BMX track's first berm, which is in the wrong place. So maybe it is fitting as we're in Milton Keynes. They have got a bit of <laughs> Milton Keynes BMX track about there. <laughs> they took inspiration but, from the great place. And then two more magical rollers. Uh, yeah. This one actually, this one looks like it's probably the right shape. And you probably get a lot of speed off of this one, showing it's right into. Into, yeah. Uh, well, but, but whatever that is. The 45 degree wall slap. Look, 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 look. The shadows are working in our favour. You can really see the, um, the smoothness. You can still see the scrapes from the bucket where yeah. this was uh, no hand. That no hand sort of shaping has taken place. This is pure bucket scrape. I will say one thing, look, there's not yeah. actually a 45 at the bottom of this one. It's no. a it's a subtle 45. It's a subtle, no, it's further up. No, oh, it is, yeah. 20 and then a 45. It goes flat, 20, 45. Wow, there we go, And awesome. then that also sends you back, so I guess you can have head-to-head -head races. So yeah, all that being said, what's the overall uh, consensus of the place? It's a white elephant. No one's going to use it. Well, people might, but they're going to get bored of it very soon. And riders that turn up that know what they're riding are going to go, this is rubbish, and just leave straight away. Now, Milton Keynes has got six pump tracks in it, I reckon, and there are only 50% of them are any good. You've got one built by Clark and Kent, one built by Hoodoo Dirtworks, by Track, and another one built by JEB Extreme Landscaping, Joe Badley. Yeah, and um, they're all great tracks. They're great tracks. Bad. what that was called that was terrible and then you've got brownswood which is like traditionally been the worst pump track ever since the start of pump tracks and i'll, I'll guarantee you now building something like this or the other two with all their pretty landscaping and cobbled edges will cost you probably exactly the same i know i've been involved with sorting out pump tracks will cost you exactly the same and you're getting something that's never going to be used so you get all the local residents on your back saying ah oh, we spent all this money so that's, uh, they, they don't all talk about it. 
can't I do that? <laughs> we spent all this money, no one's using it. Well, build it correctly. This is a message to all councils, not just MK councils and the housing consortiums and everything else. Build it properly, it'll get used properly, you'll attract the right sort of people. Build a scene in your town, city, village, whatever you want, and it will keep people out of getting in trouble. Milton Keynes has always had a, traditionally had a massive, massive BMX scene. There's been some really, really good riders coming from this area and still coming from, starting way back with like Tom Lynch, European Superclass champion ride from Milton Keynes, right up till now, and you've still got European standard riders coming from Milton Keynes. And then people put things like this up. You know, we know what we're doing in Milton Keynes. Sort it's, it it's, it's insulting, really. It's just, it's not going to be used correctly. Kids ain't going to like it. It's a waste of time. But I feel sorry for the tarmac, because I really do, because they've done what, they want, what they've yeah. been asked to do. Really good bit of tarmac. They some nice tarmac. They, they've got no idea what you need from a bike track, so they're just doing what they do. It's not nothing to do so with it. So don't no, take the we're slagging yeah. the tarmac off, because the groundwork has done a fantastic job on this. What more can you say? Dogs oh. to their brief. Yeah. Oh, here on the, the, on the plus side of the development, look at this great playground. Oh, they got it. It's pretty deep. And then look, look at this absolute wooden masterpiece. Best thing here, mate. Best thing here. Ah. Right, so in summary, the track isn't very good, but um, there is a good kids' playground here. If you've got a little one that you want to bring to a good playground and fancy checking out one of the worst pump tracks we've ever been to. Right, so. In Getting down to business. We need people to give us places to go and ride and critique. If you know somewhere that's been built that's pretty shocking or in actual fact really good, let us know. We're more than happy to come and have a look. To be honest, I'd rather critique really good places because you get to ride them yeah. rather than dress up in a high vis and a hard hat. As soon as this video is open, it. we're not going to be riding here for long. We're going <laughs> to do one or two 180 flyouts, which is about as good as it gets, and then head off. See you next time.